let's go on the record in the uh, people of the state of California versus Carlos Real Dominguez. This is case uh, CR 2023-1391. The defendant's president in court with us with attorney Hutchinson and prosecuting his deputy district attorney at uh, Demora. And Mr. Vanderhoof. And uh, deputy district attorney Vanderhoof. Okay, great. We're set today for a preliminary hearing conference and uh, there are uh, several matters we need to work our way through. Um, I have subpoenaed records, and, um, and I have that, and we're ready to do those uh, when the time's appropriate. Mr. Kamara, are there any matters you'd like to bring to the court's attention? No, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Hutchinson? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, go ahead. Your Honor, it is my firm opinion that my client is not mentally competent. I'm therefore requesting that the court initiate competency proceedings pursuant to Penal Code Section 1368. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so we have Penal Code Section 1368, Defense Attorney Hutchinson is declared doubt. Pursuant to subsection B, the court shall order that the question of the defendant's mental competence is to be determined in a hearing which is held pursuant to sections 1368.1 and 1369. Proceedings now, this criminal prosecution shall be suspended until the question of the present mental competence of the defendant has been determined. So we'll go ahead and set the uh, first order of business would be to order a psychiatric assessment and set a return date on that. Um, before I do that, Mr. Hutchinson, there is legal authority to proceed with preliminary hearing. That's not what you want to do, I take it? No, Your Honor. Okay, all right, so no request for preliminary hearing. The matter suspended, so Mr. Clerk, if you would note on the minute order, if I remember right, Mr. Hutchinson, he weighed 10 but not 60, is that correct? All right, so that's frozen in time, right? He still hasn't waived the 60, so if the case uh, is um, is picked back up, then that's where time would be at with respect to the prelim. All right, no prelim. We have 1368 mental competency proceedings. The doctors, uh, I'll, I'll get an order and uh, sign that here today, and we'll come back. Uh, normal course, four weeks, Mr. Hutchinson? Yes. Okay. Um, Just a moment, sir. Today is uh, May 22nd. Come back June 26th at 9 o'clock, Department 10 for 1368 review. That's June 26th at 9 o'clock in Department 10 for 1368 review. Um, let's uh, touch base on these subpoenas. Mr. Hutchinson, criminal proceedings suspended. Do you have any objection to proceeding with the subpoena process? Right, let's go through it and see what we have. Okay, um, I haven't opened them up. So evidence, evidence code 1560 sub D, I'll open these records up now, we'll see what's been subpoenaed and so forth. Uh, Mr. Navarro, uh, City of Davis Fire Department, does that sound right? It does. Okay, so I have records produced there. these to the district attorney. I'm going to sign a protective order. Or I assume they are not records related to my client. That's correct. They're just, they're just the records of the action of the fire department officials 
as to I believe they've been won. No pressure. Yeah. Your Honor, would this be turned over to the people with the normal stipulation to chain of custody of salvation? Yes. And I uh, signed the protective order. It's filed, okay, built to be to be used only in this case. No disclosure of social security number, date of birth, uh, any patient identifying information, and anything unrelated to the incident here. Okay, so I have a second uh, set of subpoenaed documents. Reviewing those now by the court. Prosecution, well path. These are related to the defendant, Mr. DeMar? Correct. Okay. What's your timing of disclosure of these records? Do you give these over to the defense right away then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Those, those contain privileged information. Um, I have requested the records from WellPath and they have not provided them um, as of today. So I would request a further hearing before those records are released. Okay. Can we do that in four weeks? Do we need to do it? Uh, I haven't looked at them. And I can, I can review the records in camera and uh, do, you need, do we need to expedite these? I'll refer to the people with their subpoena. Potentially, they could be relevant towards um, the psychiatric assessment. Yeah, I guess that's right. I mean, if they're medical records. Um, all right, well, why don't we, uh, why don't we just uh, take a quick look at them and come back then on the two-week calendar, okay? And, uh, and then we can get them to the doctor if we need to be. The doctor's got plenty of work to do in the next two weeks. Sound good? Yes. Okay, all right. So Mr. Clerk will set a, a review hearing on the WellPath medical records, and that will be in two weeks. Today's May 22nd. We'll just set that for June 5th at 9 o'clock in Department 10. We'll call the case first at that time. It's a limited hearing, uh, specifically on production of the uh, defendant's uh, WellPath records. All right, retain those. Yeah, can we actually do that June 6th if that's okay with the court? Sure. Mr. Officer? Yeah, June 6th, Tuesday the 6th. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we have um, 1368 proceedings. We've addressed the documents. I do note that we have some media present. The court issued a media order. If you haven't read that yet, make sure you review uh, the media order. It uh, provides for a pooling arrangement and um, um, in other orders uh, contained therein. So make sure you get access to that. It was filed May 17th. Um, defendant remains no bail uh, at this time. Mr. Moore, anything else? Just on the WellPath records, the people um, are issuing a subpoena for further records related to that. So if those come into the court, if the court would be inclined to review those, then we could probably address those on the 6th as well. Sounds good. So that will be for all subpoenaed record reviews. Okay, the next hearing. Okay, Mr. Hutchinson, anything else? No, no. Okay, hold on just a second. No, the uh, June 6th will be for well path records and uh, all others. You know, is the, the second stage, yeah. Exactly. Just a moment. So I read too quickly, is that what you're telling me? Okay, today's uh, May 22nd. Yeah, so it would be the uh, June 20th week, would be four weeks. June 26th, a trial week. Council, then Tuesday the 20th. Okay, perfect. All right, folks, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Mr. Hutchinson, your client has a, a, a Fifth Amendment right. Uh, criminal proceedings have been suspended, so I'm going to let you handle communications with your client for now. Thank you. Off the record. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I don't want an attorney. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. So, uh, folks, we're going to spend a second uh, clearing the courtroom. We've got, uh, I think, about 90 cases to call this morning. Department's 10 and Department 8. So we'll get started in a second. We're going to rearrange the table, let people clear out. Okay, thank you.